Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGaga.com and in this video we look at this FIFA World Cup Excel dashboard that I have created. At the time of recording this the FIFA World Cup starts tomorrow so excitement is high, the anticipation is building and I thought I'd put together this kind of World Cup history, these kind of records as a dashboard as an example of various Excel techniques now, we can kind of explore while looking at something fun so just a quick demo of some of the things we've got on here now if you check out the description for this video I have supplied a link that will allow you to download this Excel spreadsheet it's completely open so you can explore the formulas, explore the controls, have a look at the code, the VBA code. It's all open for us to kind of learn from and to kind of tweak and investigate. This video is going to serve as a look at uh, what's been used. And the first thing you might notice is this scroll bar. So we've got a list of all the World Cups, all 19 World Cups there have been uh, at the date of recording this. And as we scroll down, so we're ensuring that the list does not take up too much room on the dashboard. You know, dashboard reports want to show your critical information, but you know, not to take up too much space. We're trying to, as best we can, show them on one screen or close to it. So we can scroll up and down. Uh, I think I'm showing ten at a time here. I think it is scrolling through. Now what we can also do is click one of the World Cup names or any cell within there and we notice this arrow move to indicate what World Cup we're currently looking at because on the right hand side it shows us details about that so the 1974 World Cup in Germany there were 97 goals scored about two and a half per match as the average attendance and the top goal scorer who scored seven and so on if I click on the 86 World Cup I've got data about that you know a lot more goals scored but about the same per match, there must be more more countries participating in that tournament and all, all matches. And then the, the legend that is Gary Lineker getting top goal scorer there. And so on. So we've got some VBA both moving this shape, this arrow, to show what World Cup's currently being explored. But then also showing this interactive content. So the values are changing based on what we use. And we can see along the top... For the scroll bar usage, there's an offset function being used. So there's a few kind of techniques happening there that's worth looking at. Now below this, we've got some data bars. These are data bars, conditional formatting data bars doing this, uh, showing three top five lists. You know, the top five World Cups of goal scored, 1998 has got the most goal scored of all tournaments at 171. And then we've got the average goals per match, 54 was a fantastic tournament looking at that. Then we've got the top and average attendance, 94, the USA tournament, probably no surprise there. And then we're scrolling down to two charts where we have some combo boxes controlling them. So we can choose the data we want from either the country or the player stats. So I can say, show a list of all those who are... Uh, you know, reached a final. It shows that Brazil and Germany have reached the most finals, followed by Italy and so on. And we've also got a similar thing over on uh, on player stats here. So Gabriel Batistuta has scored the uh, the most penalties along with Eusebio and Renson Brink. And we can go to who's the top scorer of all time. That would be Ronaldo. Uh, maybe closer. We'll, we'll match him this tournament. So we've got some charts controlled by combo boxes here. And just to repeat the video in the description, sorry, there's a link in the description of this video, and uh, that will take you to a page which also explains some of these techniques. There's videos and there's links showing how all this can be done, the data bars, the scroll bar, these combo boxes and these charts. So some more interactive content controlled by combo box here. The... Uh, there's a choose function involved to show what selection was made by the user uh, on this. So please uh, download the link, check it out. It's, it's good viewing if you're a football fan and you're excited about the World Cup like me. But from an Excel perspective, it's 
what we do here at Computer Gaga, then you know there's lots of techniques we can explore and incorporate in your in your own business or your own kind of social uses uh, of Excel. Thank you for watching. Hope you find this tutorial useful. Uh, please check out some other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.